We got a lot of show to do tonight and not a lot of time to do it in. We're very tight. No wasting time tonight. No wasting time. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Moses. This makes Jeff, the producer, just crazy. What are you doing that for? I told you. You don't. You can do that. All right, folks. It's no secret. It's no secret at all that the uh, business, and this is something I want to talk about that means a lot to me, that the business of network television has gotten more and more cutthroat every day. Think about it. There's more and more channels now that are available, cable, satellite. So what happens is network profits keep dwindling. They get smaller and smaller. NBC still makes money, but not as much as they used to make. Well, as a result, NBC has been slashing budgets left and right. Yeah, all the shows. And since uh, we're on late at night, guess what? They come to us. We're one of the first shows they come to, and they say, can you lose some of the money in the budget? We're going to have to cut you back a little bit, which is fair. It's fine. But we thought we'd be honest with our audience and show you some of the ways we're tightening our belts <laughs> in a little piece we're calling Late Night Budget Cuts. <laughs> First budget cut is that song. <laughs> that was that gong. I never know what that is. Well, to begin, I have to say, I want to go through some of the budget cuts. I have to say, I think some of the cuts NBC's been making around here are outrageous. For example, the chair I'm sitting on. Now, from the front, it looks like a normal, nice chair, but they switched it the other day to save money. Check out my chair from behind. It's ridiculous. This is what I'm <laughs> sitting on now. <laughs> if this tape goes, we're all dead. <laughs> All right, NBC, here's another one. NBC is so obsessed with saving money, they're even cutting back on my wardrobe budget. That's right. Now, even though the suits I wear on the show are handmade and beautiful, those penny pinchers have found a way to save money on the suits. Check it out. So, folks, as you can see, we have a terrific show tonight. We got great guests, really fun comedy. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, it's called the Abdominizer. Yeah. <laughs> I thought someone asked how I managed to look so. I guess no one did. Uh, you know, one thing that costs a lot, it just costs a ton of money, is the headset system that our director in the booth uses to communicate with the cameramen out here in the studio. Well, NBC is making us replace that headset system with a far less expensive system. Check out what happens now when I look from camera one to camera two and the director has to switch. Let's do that right now, and go. Go, camera, two. <laughs> go, camera, two. Another budget cut would be the special effects pigeon, by the way. <laughs> there it is right there. Yeah. That's not even what a pigeon sounds like. That's a raven. Pigeons are... arguing with me. <laughs> now, most of you probably don't realize this, but the staff here at Late Night keeps bunny rabbits around the office just for fun. I, this is something we've been doing since the very beginning of the show. We keep bunny rabbits around. Everyone plays with them. It's lots of fun. It's good for morale. Uh, and they're adorable and cuddly. Everyone enjoys them. But the word came down the other day uh, from corporate that they're too expensive and that we have to give up one of the bunnies for adoption. And uh, I know, it's too bad. There they are, they're gorgeous, and this is gonna be a really tough decision. Oh, what's so tough about it, you lanky bean? <laughs> well, it's just that all you bunnies, you're all so cute. Oh, boo! 
boo-hoo, you gotta get rid of a cute bunny. What sort of a wuss are you? Just pick one. Okay, it's just that it's not that easy. Shut up! <laughs> just pick a bunny and stop being a douchebag. <laughs> Then, well, I pick you. Me? Why'd you pick me, crap face? All right, get him out of here, guys. Just take I'll him away. I'll make you pay, you freak. I'm gonna start humping. I'm gonna start humping all of these, and we're all gonna rip your face off. Now, folks, one of the show's biggest expenses is accommodating the wishes of our most famous guests, all right? When we have a big top-name guest here, a big movie star, we have to pay top dollar to fly them in first class, put them up in an expensive hotel. It adds up. So we've been trying to get less famous guests who won't make such outrageous demands. Check out this interview from last week. It's a real pleasure having you on the show. Do you want to tell us about your new film? 你叫兩條春卷,你就生日應該帶,你買個海果,十七個三毛半. Yeah. So you shot this movie mostly in Europe, a lot of it in Italy, is that right? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's a killer story. But what I really want to hear about is uh, working with Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie? Yeah, yeah, you work with Angelina Jolie. Tell us something about her, please. Well, I and Angelina Jolie had a tea, okay, more mum, Tom, go ahead, more mum, Tom. She's an incredible lover, I'm told. Now, speaking of budget cuts, NBC has ordered us to get rid of our audience security. That's right. So, Jim, Steve, uh, I'm sorry. We got to let you guys go. Yeah, I'm sorry. We don't have the money. You're free to go. Sorry about that. We just had to. But, Conan, without audience security, this crowd of fans is going to rush the stage and demand your autograph. Okay, well, anyway, uh, you know, folks, our budget's been cut so much, we're having trouble paying the rent this month. It's true. So we're doing everything we can to hide from our show's landlord. Huh? Hide from our show's landlord. There you go. Good cue. Go, go, go. <laughs> Apparently, we've cut back on the queuing, too. <laughs> Why don't you go back and we'll try that again? <laughs> I tell you, we've had to cut things back so much. We're doing everything we can to hide from our show's landlord. Huh? Conan. Yeah? Hey, hey I didn't, ex didn't expect to see you. Well, he's on his way. Mr. Slotnick is coming. Oh, my God, Mr. Slotnick's coming. Here we go. Come on. Conan, Conan. Uh, no. <laughs> Mr. Conan's gone for the day. <laughs> this is Late Night with Bob Gerblinton Goo. <laughs> Different show, are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you met the Philip Washstern Seven? <laughs> yeah, my mistake. Well, if you see Conan, tell him I want my rent. You will do. <laughs> I should leave this. This looks hot. <laughs> All right. Well, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Everything around here really is crappy. <laughs> this isn't a bit at all. <clears throat> and here's our final budget cut, folks. You see, one of our most popular characters is vomiting Kermit. That's right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the price of Kermit's vomit has skyrocketed. That stuff's not cheap. So because of the budget cuts, from now on, vomiting Kermit can only be dry retching Kermit. Take a look. <laughs> What's that? Really? Oh, wait, wait, this is good. This, folks, this is good news. I'm being told that while vomiting Kermit is too expensive, we do still have money for Bulimic Grover. Here's Bulimic Grover.
I'm glad Conan O'Brien's not here to see that horrible <laughs> sketch. Because his standards are much higher. <laughs> Folks, we'll take a break. When we come back, Steve Zahn's here.